Hi, my name is Tom Flynn with H Texas Magazine. And today we're going to be working in the kitchen and we're going to be working on cabbage rolls. Now we recently rediscovered cabbage rolls when we went to the Renaissance Festival. And we had turkey legs in one hand, we've been watching the jousting. And as we walked through the area they called Poland, we wanted another snack. And they were serving cabbage rolls there. And everybody in our group loved them. And so we've been on a quest on how to perfect the cabbage roll. We did some research on the web and we found out that cabbage rolls are from Eastern Europe. That's countries like Poland, Bulgaria, Hungary. And we tried a bunch of different recipes. We found out the real secret was where all the recipes ask for water, you don't want to use water, you want to create a broth. And so we made a broth, and it's a pretty simple broth. These are smoked pork hocks. They got bone in, they got some meat attached to them. We used about three or four pounds of these. We added celery, onion, and a slab of uh, pork salt, and put a little garlic in there and boiled it for about two and a half hours. And the, that's gonna be the basis of everything we cook with today. First thing we need to do when making our cabbage rolls is get some rice going. Now we've just got some regular long grain rice, one cup, and then their instructions on the package say mix this with water. In our cabbage rolls, everywhere it calls for water, we're gonna use broth. Now this is the broth we made up earlier. Remember this has ham hocks in it, pork salt, there's some celery, onion, and garlic. And we're just gonna use this in place of water everywhere in our recipe. So we're gonna need a couple um, cups of long grain rice, which require, so we need two cups of broth. Which is about that right there. That goes with one cup of rice. We're gonna bring this to a boil, pour in the rice, and then just let it simmer for 25 minutes. Okay, so we're making cabbage rolls. Now, the thing of cabbage roll is a kind of a flavorful meatloaf that's gonna be rolled up in a cabbage leaf. So the next thing we gotta do is get our cabbage leaves ready to stuff. Now, if you just took out a cabbage leaf, threw some meat in there, and tried to roll it, your cabbage leaf breaks. Not gonna work for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil our cabbage for a little bit so these leaves soften up. You can just throw the whole thing in water and then peel off leaves as they become tender. Just give it a nice long knife, and you wanna cut around the core. And you want to go about halfway through the head of cabbage because that's where that thing is going to uh, finish. Keep working it until the core becomes loose. And then it'll pop out. All the hot water will be able to get down there at one time, go up the stalks of the leaves, and soften everything up at once. All right, we've had our cabbage boiling now. Remember, we took the core out so the hot water can seep all the way through there. And these leaves should be tender now. It's been 20 to 25 minutes. We're just going to take the pot over here. And to pull out the uh, hot water, you want a nice long fork. I like a carving fork, works great. And you're just going to stick it down through where the core used to be. And you're going to lift it up and let the water drain out. Now you have to be careful because it's extremely hot. It's boiling hot water here, and it'll get you if you're not careful. As they drain, you want to set it over here on the towel, just so it can drain farther. And it's a great family project because as it's cool, you want to start peeling the leaves off. And the leaves are what we're going to fill with the meatloaf stuffing, and we'll boil this with the other ingredients to create our cabbage rolls. All right, so we're making cabbage rolls, and our cabbage is going to be rolled around a filling. That filling is very much like meatloaf. And you can use all different kinds of the meats. There's beef ones out there. We, we just have to be going with pork. So we're going to be using two uh, pounds of ground pork, and this is lean ground pork just bought from the local grocery store. We're going to throw those in there. And we're going to be using, to give it spice, because I like to put spice in everything I do. We got a pound of hot uh, pork sausage. We're going to throw that in there. We got some spices. This is uh, paprika. Um, you can get a Hungarian variety. These are Hungarian cabbage rolls. There's also some margarine in there, just like a, a half teaspoon and another teaspoon of salt. So we're going to chunk that on top. Then we've got onions. I've got uh, two cups of onions, which is like two medium onions, and uh, two good-sized cloves of garlic. We're going to chunk those in there. We've got our rice that we cooked earlier. Now remember, this is rice that's been um, cooked in pork stock. And I've got three cups, but I only need about two of it, so I'm going to put about two-thirds of this in here. And I got three pounds of meat, so I'm gonna use three eggs. All right, 
right, now we've got our filling mixture all together. And remember, it's eggs, a couple pounds of uh, ground pork. There's some hot pork sausage in there, paprika, uh, marjoram, some salt, or the rice that we boiled in the stock. And we're just gonna get together, and again, it's just like you're making meatloaf. So wash your hands good, take your wedding ring off, and start mixing this stuff all together till it's one consistent texture. And when it's all, oh, you can smell the flavors coming out of that already. I guess that's the paprika coming up at it. And we're gonna mix this together till it's one good consistency, and then we'll stuff this into our cabbage leaves, and then we'll put them in a pot and we'll boil them. All right, folks, so far we've done a lot of work. First, we created this awesome filling, and we cooked some rice, and it has pork and pork sausage and onions, that sort of stuff in there. We cooked three heads of cabbage and peeled off the better leaves. We have those stacked up over here. We're gonna stuff those in a minute. We created this really good broth, and it came from ham hocks and pork salt and celery, onions, garlic. We were, it's all coming together now. And we, it's finally time to assemble our pan and assemble our cabbage rolls. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a good large stock pot, and we wanna line it with sauerkraut. Now sauerkraut, you can get it in a can, you can get it in a jar. We tried all kinds. We finally went with boar's head sauerkraut in this plastic pouch. You get it in the deli section at your grocery store and it has a mild flavor, less sour than others. But you want to go ahead and squeeze the water out of it and then put a nice layer of it on the bottom of your stock pot. Next, some of the cabbage that wasn't good leaves, I, we've chopped up. We're going to add a little bit of that to the same mixture with the uh, sauerkraut. And when we made our broth earlier, I saved the meat out of the ham hocks and the salt pork, just the lean meat. And we're going to throw that in there too because it's going to provide some extra texture and flavor as people dig through their cabbage rolls. With the pan lined, it's finally time to start stuffing the cabbage roll. We've got a nice mixture ready to go into the cabbage leaves. So you're just going to take a cabbage leaf and open it up and then use a good spoon. This is just a soup spoon to scrape out a decent amount of the filling and put it right in the pocket of the cabbage leaf. Then you're gonna flip the top over, flatten it out, flip the ends, and roll it over so you got a nice looking roll. And then we're gonna put this on top of our bed of sauerkraut, um, ham hocks, and chopped cabbage. And we're gonna repeat this till the bottom layer is filled up. Then we'll add more sauerkraut, chopped cabbage, and ham hocks, and another layer of cabbage rolls and do that until the pot is full. Okay, our rolls are finally stuffed and in the pan. We threw some extra ham hocks in there, stuff like that, to give them some flavor along with the sauerkraut. One last thing to do, we gotta make a sauce. So to make our sauce, we're gonna use just tomato sauce. And we want two cans of this. These are, I believe, 14 ounce cans. And then equal parts of the stock that we made earlier. This is the stuff with the ham hocks and pork salt and onions and all that good stuff. So we're gonna need a few of these in there to equal that out. And then you just want to whisk this stuff together. I'm going to whisk, give it a nice toss. Then we're done with this, we're going to pour this on top of our cabbage rolls. Very simple. So just bring it on over, and it's going to take a while for it to seep down through the layers, but just slowly keep adding it, let it drain. Add it, let it drain, until you've got the whole pot filled up. All right, so we've got everything in the pan now. We've had it on high for a few minutes now, or actually more than a few minutes. And you can see it's finally starting to bubble and boil. This is gonna cook for two and a half hours. So all we're gonna do is take a lid, cover up this wonderful mixture. Ah, it's pretty full. Turn this down to a low simmer, and it will simmer for two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, we'll be ready to eat. 